I sit on several boards that interview people for positions of leadership in God's church, missionaries, ministers and the like. During those interviews, we always ask the question, uh, could you please explain or give a summary of the Christian gospel? Now, one thing that heartens me is the fact that people always mention the cross. But sadly, people rarely mention the resurrection in their summary of the gospel. Uh, when prompted, they say, yes, it's important. But it's interesting that they didn't mention it first. Uh, sometimes we reduce the gospel down to my sins are forgiven and I'm going to heaven. And at one level, that's true. But at another level, that's very individualistic and it's very reductionistic to see that the gospel is all about me. Jesus' resurrection does not only guarantee my resurrection, important though that is, but Jesus is going to raise the universe, the heavens and the earth. He will usher in a new heaven, a new earth, and we will be part of that. And so when we talk about salvation and the gospel in those categories, to not mention the resurrection is a very serious omission. You see, one of the things we need to realise is the fact that Jesus was not raised to heaven. He was raised to earth. We often confuse the resurrection and the ascension. But the Gospels all agree, they're very clear about the fact that Jesus was raised and appeared on earth for 40 days before he ascended to heaven. And it's this resurrection that is the same physical body that was placed in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. It's this same resurrection that is the first fruits of our resurrection. And so the resurrection is cosmic in its effects. Jesus' resurrection changes everything. It forgives the past. It assures us of the fact that God accepted the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. But it also assures us of the future. The resurrection is the guarantee that the wrath of God has been appeased by the sacrifice of Jesus. And it is also the guarantee of the new heavens and the new earth in which righteousness dwells.